Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And if you purchase one of the new MacBook Pros, there's really no way around it. You're gonna have to buy some adapters. Now I wanna go ahead and talk to you about what it's been like using a laptop with only four USB type C slots. Generally, the standard had previously been USB type A, but Apple went ahead with a different route and included only four USB type C slots in this new MacBook. Now here's a quick look at my day-to-day -day setup that I use pretty much all the time when I sit at my desk. So I do have it connected to an external monitor, as you can see, with an adapter, of course. And then you'll see up at the top above this monitor, I have a webcam as well. Now to begin is the first adapter I wanna talk about, and this is the main one that I use. And I will link to all of these below. I do wanna give a shout out to Aki for sending these over to me, sponsoring this video as well. And I have nothing but good things to say about all these adapters actually, testing them out, use them every single day. And this is the main one I have sitting on my desk all the time. I do not bring this with me. I have it connected to my monitor right here through HDMI because my monitor does not have USB type C connection support yet. So with that being said, I also have my webcam connected and also a keyboard as well. So you'll see I'm already utilizing two of these all connected into one of the USB type C slots and of course the HDMI one as well. And believe it or not, because I do not want to remove that adapter, I actually have a travel set. So here is actually what I bring with. I actually just got back uh, on a trip from Orlando and I brought this with. Uh, this one being a separate HDMI one, which is great for the hotel room. Uh, of course, he's bringing HDMI cable with as well. And this guy, this is a very important one for me because in hotel rooms, I definitely prefer using the Ethernet. So here's an Ethernet slot because, of course, the MacBook does not have one of those. And, of course, it doesn't even have an SD card slot as well. So here is actually what I bring with uh, when I go traveling. Now, moving along, these little guys are extremely important, and I would highly recommend picking a couple of these up, if not more. Now, you'll see it is USB Type-C male to USB Type-A female. So right now, you'll see I actually had brought this mouse with me uh, on that trip. So you'll see I have it connected right now. You just kind of uh, connect any USB type A to it and just plug it right in. And like I've mentioned, I've had no compatibility issues, anything like that. It has worked just fine like it should. And as I mentioned, no SD card slot, which is a very big deal for me because all of my videos are shot on an SD card. So you'll see I use one of these little adapters, plug it right in and I can transfer all of my files. And that also works as well. Uh, for example, if I do some gaming, I can plug in a controller to my MacBook and I use that little adapter as well because I don't have a compatible cable that would work with USB Type-C. Okay, and next I wanna bring up an issue with connecting your cell phone to the new MacBook Pro. No matter what phone you have, just about every phone, even if it includes USB Type-C right now, came with a cable that's USB Type-A to USB Type-C, like these Aki ones that they had sent over. Even one of these is six feet, which was great and very helpful. Anyways, so let's go ahead and talk about and grab the iPhone 7, specifically the iPhone 7 Plus and iPhone 7. You'll see down at the bottom, it is a lightning connector. So let's say, hey, I just bought the new iPhone 7. Hey, I just bought the new MacBook Pro. I wanna connect and transfer over a large video file that I shot. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the included cable and you'll see it is only lightning and USB type A. So you cannot connect your iPhone 7 to your new MacBook Pro at all. There's really no way unless you buy an adapter because Apple did not even include any adapter, at least with the iPhone 7, they decided, hey, no headphone jack, but at least because of that choice, they included an adapter, which doesn't necessarily make it okay, but it is nice that they had included it. So it makes no sense why Apple actually kind of does. They want you to spend more money on their products, but uh, pretty ridiculous that they didn't include any type of adapter specifically for USB type A into the MacBook Pro. Now, don't get me wrong, I have nothing against including USB type C in a laptop. However, when you only have four slots, and you only have USB Type-C, which is a new standard that a lot of people haven't even grasped yet, really don't know the difference between Type-A and Type-C. It's pretty ridiculous they didn't include any adapters. So unfortunately, you will have to, there's no way around it, you're going to have to buy some adapters and uh, kind of get them ready for your MacBook Pro. And even as a side note, the MacBook Pro includes a headphone jack, which I was very surprised about. Uh, pretty strange that they're not keeping things consistent throughout their ecosystem. So that's just about it. Now to recap, like I said, you're gonna have to bite the bullet, get some adapters. There's really no way around it unless you wanna go ahead and buy all new connectors that are USB Type-C, which I didn't necessarily wanna do. Uh, specifically, these little guys, these are very important, at least for me. Uh, they came in very handy. Or like I said, if you have a desk setup like I do, uh, you might wanna think about buying a strip of USB Type-A female connectors and even HDMI or a display out 
option as well because like I said, my monitor does not have USB Type-C uh, display out yet. But anyways, that's about it. Click that subscribe button so you're notified of future videos. Check out my uh, MacBook Pro two-week challenge. I will link to the playlist down below. See lots more thoughts on this new device, including the touch bar and just my overall review of the device as well. So uh, that's really about it. I do really appreciate you guys watching. Have a good day.